Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 20th through the 26th of November, 2022. I do hope you guys had a really good week. I'm gonna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not really unusual. I am giving away two of the $50 Amazon gift cards to two lucky recipients at the end of this month. And if you're interested in that, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also leave me a comment. So let's get started here, Libra. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra? Wow, your cards are on fire, Libra. Okay, you are starting out with the Knight of Wands. You have the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so Libra, I feel like um, there's someone here that you're waiting to talk to. Um, there is a desire for communication, but there's also a sense of waiting. And with the Two of Wands in the reverse, I feel like um, I feel like you're choosing not to move in this direction. I feel like you're choosing you're you're choosing to move either not to move at all um, to just kind of remain uh, where you're at and not make a choice, or to move in a different direction. And it feels to me like you're you're kind of at that crossroads and you're waiting, so you're kind of teetering. It's almost like uh, what I'm seeing is that you're waiting to see if someone communicates before you decide to move in their direction or to move completely away from this connection. This person could be at a distance from you. Um, there, could, there could be travel involved. Let's see who's in your energy. Some of you guys um, could be a little bit non-committal in, in this as well. Let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Libra's energy, please. Show me who's in Libra's energy. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Show me who's in Libra's energy. Thank you. All right, we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so this uh, this could be a soulmate, but this is somebody that you, you're not seeing eye to eye with this person. Um, th there has either been a big argument or a breakup or both. With the Ace of Wands here, this person does want a new beginning with you. Um, but I do see that this person is fantasizing. There's, um, there's definitely like a energy of missing or wanting to have a physical connection. Um, Page of Wands in the reverse tells me that this person is holding back. They want to communicate, but they're holding back. So you both want to communicate. Um... This person might communicate a little bit immaturely. Let's uh, let's see the energy between the two of you. They do have feelings for you. There's emotions and love here. But they're definitely holding back as far as communication. Um, they want a new beginning, though. And I can see that you're... You're kind of on the fence. You're you're kind of in this uh, energy of waiting to see if you're going to hear from this person, and 
you're deciding if you're just gonna move on or all right so the energy between the two of you is a page of swords so there's that desire to communicate but i don't feel like either of you are um you may have reached out uh for some of you you may have reached out but i feel like more or less you're you're both kind of um wondering what the other person is doing there could be some looking at social media um, talking to mutual friends to see what the other person's up to there's just an a, a feeling of curiosity of trying to figure out what the other person is doing how they might feel on your part Libra, I feel like you're trying to figure out if this person is going to communicate with you because that's what you're waiting for. So you're trying to figure out if they're going to. On their side, they may be trying to figure out if you're still angry with them. Um, let's see what's directly affecting the connection. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, holding back. Um, again, I'm seeing love, but nobody, neither party wants to move forward with that. Both parties are emotionally holding back. So no emotions are being shared. Libra, you're waiting for them to share emotions and you're not, you're not sharing emotions. Um, they... They want a new beginning, but they won't share emotions. Let's see your outcome. The Three of Pentacles. So, the Three of Pentacles does speak to cooperation. So, there may be some cooperation. We'll see. Um, we'll have to clarify that. It can also speak to a foundation or a contract. So, I'll have to clarify that to figure out exactly what that means. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords in the reverse. Now, this does confirm to me that there has been no communication. Um, but during this period that the two of you have not been communicating, there's been healing that's been taking place. Um, it also confirms for me that there is a desire for communication. And that's what's underlying this, um, this reading. There's a desire for communication, and there's a tremendous amount of healing that has been taking place. So, let's clarify, Libra. Spirit, why is the Knight of Wands here? All right, we have the Seven of Coins. We have the King of Swords reversed, and we have the Lovers. So... Libra, you see them also as a soulmate. You both do. There's a strong, um, strong spiritual connection here. I do see that you're a bit angry, though. You are angry, and I see you being very patient. You would like to be on the same page, but you're waiting. You're you're waiting for the communication, and I feel like the longer you wait, the angrier you're getting, or the more upset. Maybe you're not angry. Maybe you're just upset. Um, but you see them as a soulmate as well. You're, you're, you would like to invest in this um, connection because you do see it as a soulmate connection. But you're being, you're being patient. You're being patient um, for the communication. But I feel like your patience is beginning to wear thin, which makes sense. That's why I'm seeing you at this crossroads and deciding whether or not you're just going to move forward. That makes a lot of sense. So I feel like you're, you've been very patient and now your patience is wearing thin. Um, let's see why the Three of Wands is here. Uh -oh. All right, we have Justice in Reverse. That's also a sign of Libra. And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Ouch. So the reason you're waiting, Libra, is because 
there was something that was deceptive or um, dishonest and you found out about it. Whatever this was, you you feel wronged. So you feel that this person has treated you unjustly. They've wronged you, which is why you're upset. And so that's why you're waiting. So your feeling here, Libra, is that they need to communicate with you because you were the, the person who has been treated unjustly. You were wronged here. And so you're waiting to see if they're going to, to come forward and to communicate, to put the two of you on the same page, to invest in the connection, to invest in the, the a spiritual connection. Um, why is the two of wands in reverse? Six of cups. And the seven of, I mean, eight of wands reverse. Eight of wands reverse. Okay, so, yeah, this is someone from your past. I do think that you think of this person often. You reminisce. But you're not talking to this person. And some of you have blocked this person. Yeah, you've blocked you've blocked them. You want them to come forward, but you've blocked them. Oh, I see. So you've blocked them because you want them to come to see you face to face. Yeah, six, six of cups. You wanna you wanna face to face. You don't want you don't want them sending you a text, sending you messages. So you've blocked, you've blocked the texting, you've blocked the messages. You want a face-to-face -face apology or or um, communication. And I feel like if you if that doesn't happen, if that that you're just going to choose to go in another direction. And you're kind of at that crossroads right now. You're not moving forward because you feel that this person has treated you unjustly. There's a wrong that has been done to you with the justice in reverse. And whatever it is, you've discovered it. You've found out. It's been revealed. So it's out on the open. Um, you know about something. It made you angry or upset. You've been very patient with this person because you do love them. And you've been patiently waiting for that communication. But the longer you wait, the less patient you become and the more upset you get, the more wronged you feel as well. And, and now at this point, you're looking for a face-to-face. -face, um, it, it looks like a face-to-face -face, um, communication. Or you're just going to move in a new direction. Let's look at their energy. Because I feel like the two of you want the same thing. Um, why is the two of cups in reverse? Why is the two of cups in reverse? Alright, we have the four of cups. Two of Cups reversed again. So, so definitely very strong energy there. It's repeating. And the Knight of Swords. So they feel that um, this argument or this breakup could cause a missed opportunity. That um, if they don't move forward with the Knight of Swords. So this person might be coming forward to communicate with you, Libra, because... Their feeling is that this is going to be a missed opportunity. Yeah, they, they, uh, there's an argument here. There's an argument or a breakup or both that's going to cause a missed opportunity if they don't come forward and communicate with the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this will be a decision that will be made quickly. If they, if they decide to do that, they're going to come forward quickly. Let's see why the Ace of Wands is here. Because the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. 
Why is the Ace of Wands here? All right, we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So they want a new beginning. They're holding back emotionally though, and they don't trust their intuition. Uh, Page of Pentacles reversed. I see that um, either there's been an offer here. So there's, there's an offer here. They could be angry because they may have, Page of Pentacles can be an apology or it can be a text um, reaching out in a very small way. And if so, they, you may have turned them down. And they may be angry about that. They might believe that you are being emotionally manipulative or they may be emotionally manipulating by holding back communication. Yeah. They could, because this is their energy, they could be holding back that communication because they're, they're being emotionally manipulative. The Queen of Cups in the reverse can be um, very manipulative. I can see that they're definitely holding back their energy, though. They're holding back emotions for sure. And they're, they're not communicating or, or offering anything. I do feel like they consider it and then they, they decide not to. Be careful when they come forward, Libra, that um, when, because I see them coming forward, that's communication. It can be kind of harsh. It can actually be very harsh communication. They might come forward in kind of an angry way. And it could actually cause more arguments because they're coming forward without the emotion of, of love. It's, it's more of a um, passion, but without the loving emotions. Let's see why the Page of Wands is in reverse. Yeah, the Hermit. They're, this person might be... Um, kind of isolating. I feel like they're not really, um, I feel like they're not really like uh, talking to a lot of people. They're definitely not, they're holding back as far as communication with you. They're doing a lot of soul searching though. And I feel like there's something here that they're letting go of. So they've while they haven't been talking, they've been doing a lot of soul searching. They've been trying to find answers. And there's something they're trying to release. They're trying to let go of. Something that they've been holding on to. So this person might be releasing and, and letting go of a grudge that they've been holding on to. But I don't see them talking. I don't see them communicating. Um, un unless they come forward very, very quickly, they're, they're really holding that back. At some point though, they, they're going to decide that this is going to be a missed opportunity if they don't. But I feel like when they do come forward, they might come forward kind of angry. Let's see, uh, why is the page of swords here? I do feel like this person does a lot of fantasizing, um, and some of that is uh, of a very sexual nature. Ace of Swords, The Fool. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be communication. It is, there is going to be communication. And the desire is to... So I feel like if this person comes forward, you're going to communicate with them as well. Um, I do. I feel like they're going to rub you wrong when, when they come forward. Because they're going to come forward in a aggressive manner. And... I think that's going to rub you the wrong way. 
because you've been you you feel like you've been patient with this person and when they come forward aggressively i think that's going to rub you the wrong way initially however i do think that it will de-escalate and i do see the two of you getting on the same page i see um i see things getting cleared up i see communication that brings clarity I see a new understanding, a, a conversation that brings in a new understanding and a new clarity. The intention for your person, Libra, is to have a new beginning. They would like to take a risk and have a new beginning. So the way they're coming in is going to be rather angry almost, but that's not their intention. The way you're going to receive it is going to kind of put you in a pissed off mood too. But I see I see you kind of de-escalating this. I feel like, Libra, you have the skills to de-escalate this. And you're going to move the two of you away from that into something a little bit calmer. And I do see this conversation bringing clarity to the situation. There is going to be communication, but it, it's after a lot of holding back. Like, a lot, a lot of holding back. All right, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Nine of Coins. So, what's affecting the connection is that both of you have been holding back emotions. Neither of you have been giving emotionally to this connection. For you, there is... You've been waiting, and it's because you feel that there has been something that has been deceptive. There's been lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is, is out on the table. It's You're both aware of it, but you feel that you've been treated unjustly. It does have to do with commitment. So, I don't know if this person was in another commitment or if this person refused to commit to you. I don't know, but it has to do with commitment. And I feel that that is why you have been holding back. On their side, on their side, they have the nine of coins. So they may be holding back because they were trying to get their money together. Uh, oh, they, they could have been in a commitment because this is a card of being single. So they may not have been single. They could have been in a commitment. That could have been the problem. And maybe you found out. Maybe they weren't honest with you about this. So this person has been trying to become single and to get their money together to become you know, more confident. This is also a card of confidence. And so I see that they've been holding back as far as emotions. And also this person has not been trusting their own intuition either. They may have felt that they didn't have anything to offer. So a lot of this could have been about finances and money as well. But they definitely want a new beginning. And you've been waiting to hear from this person. Um, let's look at your outcome. We have the Three of Pentacles. Why is that here? Okay, we have the Devil in reverse. Again, we have the Four of Swords reversed. And we have the Four of Wands reversed. Yeah, this person must have been in a commitment. Because that's, um, that's ending a commitment or a marriage that you would have found to be toxic. Yeah, you would have found that to be toxic. So, what I'm seeing here is in the outcome, there's a cooperation that occurs between the two of you. But it's being discussed. It's, it hasn't completely happened that this um, foundation. So, there's a... There's a discussion that's going to occur about a foundation, about laying a foundation, coming together to create this foundation, to work together to create something together. 
this is what's going to be discussed. And it's going to happen after this period of not communicating, not talking. We see the communication happening. We see that there is a, another commitment and possibly some financial problems and some fuckery that has occurred. Emotional holding back on both both parts, but both both people wanting to have this new beginning. So there's a desire to have the new beginning. So all of this will get discussed. There will be clarity to the situation. And in your outcome, in your outcome, I see that this discussion will be about creating a foundation, working together to create something. Now, on your side, Libra, you want nothing that has that is toxic. You're saying here, I will create this foundation with you, but nothing toxic. I do not want whatever the happened here because you felt very wronged by this. So you are you're going to make it very clear you don't want any of that. So you you blocked this person because of that. You were ready to and prepared to move forward. And for some of you, you you might you might decide to do that. I can see that not all of you are going to, because you're at this precipice, not all of you are going to, because this is a discussion. It's not the actual happening. Some of you are going to decide to move forward and move away from this person. Others of you, though, are going to discuss this foundation. And as long as there is no toxic energy, I feel like you're you're going to be open to it. On their side, what they're releasing here, and they've come to the conclusion that they have to release, during this period apart, this person was doing soul searching. And remember I said they, they know they have to let go of something. They have to release something that's holding them back. Well, it's another commitment. It's another connection. So this person is either married or in a long-term commitment. And they're not happy in that commitment or that long-term um, long -term commitment or marriage. So that's what they're releasing here. And that's what this discussion is going to be about. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the judgment card. It is in reverse, and that tells me, just like I said, this is going to be a judgment call. This is There's going to be a discussion here, and this is going to be a judgment call. And I do think, Libra, that you are very concerned about making a bad judgment call. You, you don't want to give this person another chance, and it be turn out that you have made a bad judgment call. So, I think you're going to be very attentive to this conversation, and I think that you're going to have to really weigh this up. Let's see, one card came out. Let's see what that is. It says, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. So yeah, I, I think that both of you may be doing that, looking at pictures, um, there is a desire to make new memories, though. So, you know, some of you are going to move in that direction, and some of you uh, clearly are not. All right, I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie, because why not? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh, my goodness. You got commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business, and it will make you feel better. Libra, look at that. You got a commitment coming. That's a quick turnaround. That's a big turnaround. Well, I wouldn't say quick because I know my Libras have been going through it. That's a big turnaround. So, all right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Libra. If you um, want to participate in the giveaway, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and also leave me a comment. If you'd like a private reading, that information can be found in the box beneath this video. So until I see you in about a week for your weekly reading, namaste.